Hello lads and lasses, I'm Keelan the Realist Review and welcome to my Let's Play walkthrough of Torchlight 2. That's right, it's going to be a full walkthrough guys in high definition and it will have dual commentary as well with myself, Keelan the Realist Review and Taya. Say hello Taya. Hello. Okay, without further ado, let's get into a brand new game. Okay, so we've got the Ember Mage, we've got the Berserker, we've got the Outlander and we've got the Engineer. And I think I'm going to have a dude. I uh, gather Taya's gonna try playing an outlander, female outlander, so that should be fun. And I'm gonna play an engineer, I think, just because I love the looks with the monocle and stuff. I think I'm gonna go with a guy with the monocle. There's several different faces you could choose from. That one appeals to me the most, so I'm gonna go with the monocle. And let's see the hairstyles. I think I'm gonna go with the with the, the goggles and the hair. Don't really want to be bald. And lots of different colors. Well, not lots of different colors, but enough. Okay. Oh, and you can choose a pet. Let's see. I think Taya grabbed the weasel, uh, the ferret, rather. I was wanting the ferret, but uh, I think I'll go with the panther. And we'll call it Brunel. <laughs> nice. And you can have different appearances. Like three different appearances. I think I like the black best, so. And we're gonna play normal. And we're gonna play a land game. I'm gonna try and play a land game. Okay, I'm gonna go create the game now. Normal, two players, game name. Keelan's game. Max range, right. Starting server. Three heroes confronted the beast called Ordrock. Yet even in death, Ordrock's corrupted heart endured and called out. Here we are in a rainy, windy, stormy setting. Very yeah, nice. Okay, let's zoom in a wee bit. As you can see, it's very, uh... Big by Destroyer, isn't he? The Commander V will be glad to see him. They used to run together back in the day. She told me once how oh, she, the Destroyer, the buddy the Alchemist, rescued a torchlight for some kind of dragon. As you can see, it's very 
Diablo-esque. Um, it's from the original creators of Diablo. This is a overhead hack and slash stroke RPG, guys. So I really don't want to see any comments about bad graphics or anything like that. It's not that kind of game, okay? This is the kind of game where you enjoy the story and you enjoy the hack and slash and uh, yeah. So it's not about graphics, this game. And it's a cheap game as well, so if you guys want to pick it up, it will only cost you 30 bucks. So it's a pretty good price. Anyway, without further ado, let's talk to the Destroyer. I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the Alchemist destroyed Torchlight and has headed their way. He may be there already. Okay, that's the first, first quest. Warn the Aetherians. Right, let's warn those Aetherians. Have a look around, test our skills out. What have we got? Let's see this. Ooh, okay. Testing. Bit of gold. Oh, lovely. Yep, the controls are very uh, Diablo like. Well, I like Torchlight 1, which is pretty good. Yeah. They haven't changed much of the mechanics, it looks like. Not the basic ones, anyway. Killing rattlings. Which are this game's answers to kobolds, I guess. <laughs> ah, this guy's got a mission for us. What's your business here? You saved my life. I thought those rattlings had my number for sure. Oh, we got polearm, polearm, or yeah. I guess I'm getting a polearm. I'm getting a State collar for my pet. Yep. You a new recruit? You just get here? It's not bad. Oh, let's explore. Ooh. I'm a war beast. You have gained a level. You have gained a level. Click on the level up button to the left side. Okay. Ah, yeah, it's got a plus. Mm, what am I going to specialize in? Let's see, I'm an engineer, so. Let's go through this. Strength increases all weapon damage. Dexterity increases chance to perform crit strikes, usual stuff. Mana elemental damage. I don't know if I'll be needing that. Uh, health. I think I'm going to go with a bit of weapon damage. Um, health. For now. There's a few things coming out. <laughs> As you can see, it's just a good old hack and slash, uh, but it has a nice story too. It has a lot of charms, this game. Crossbow, but I don't know if I can use that or not. Oh, I can. Sweet. Go ranged. You have 
And a golden chest. Very nice. We need a bit more strength, I feel. Let me give some more dexterity. Missed another. Let's <laughs> leave it around here. Armored shotgun. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love the weapons. They're just f fantastic. <laughs> I like the shotgun. Some serious damage. Okay, the flashy stars up there, so I guess we'll go up there. Let's see what's up. Ethereum Enclave. Sounds like the right place. Ah. Eldrion. I thank you for your warning, but it has arrived too late. This alchemist has already come and gone, and it was all I could do to prevent him from entering the Enclave. As it was, many Estherians were injured, and since the confrontation, several more have become ill. We are not sure what is causing it. After his assault failed here, the alchemist carried on southward toward the temple steps. Commander Vale and her vanquishers arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. Mm. Commander Vale believes that the alchemist might attack the Wellspring Temple in an attempt to reach the Guardian of Water. For what nefarious purpose, I am afraid to speculate. There has been no word from either Vale or the Guardian. Scout the Wellspring Temple and determine if the Guardian of Water is in any danger. You have a new quest. Okay, I'm not going to use the gun all the time because Tay is using the gun, but uh, I don't want to try out this new one. The Savage Hand Can. <laughs> it is literally a giant cannon. Fantastic. How may I help? Ah, I can sell some stuff here. Let me sell my crossbow. My pet had picked up a lot of stuff. Yeah, mine too. Make sure it's not the uh, armor that you need. Yeah, yeah. Miscellaneous weapons. Anyway. Ooh, spark ember specs, suck at the ball. 
don't really have stuff that's suckable yet. <laughs> hey, look, there's another quest here. Let's get it. Glad you made it. If you're going out to the temple steps, I could use your help. The stumble, the storm corn, oh, the storm beyond. I've set up makeshift smithy there. And they have two blacksmiths making suits of armor for wild war beasts they've captured. Those stone beyond seem to be working from schematics, but they keep them under lock and key. Do you think you might be able to get there and grab some armor schematics? Okay, so we some armor schematics. You have a new quest. Let's see if we can sort you out. And I think we're done here. Ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? You just get here? Let's go then. What's your business here? Uh, that's none of your business, isn't it? Yeah. Whoops, skinnies. Many avenues to the objective. Or maybe just one. Oh, there's a chest over there. Did we get that? Ooh, a light cowl. Can I wear that? Yeah, put it on. <laughs> light cowl. Can we get to that chest? How do we get there? Is it around there? No? Nope. Weird. Oh well. I guess it's just there to tempt us. Yeah. Lich Grieve. Let's see. Unidentified gloves. Ooh. Put those on. We got staff, which can't really. Never, no point really using that. Skelly's here. As good as the other ones, though, but it has a socket. Let's level up our skills a bit more. Someone there, someone there. There we go. Oh, 
There's a nice, nice number of mobs up there. My pet's just chilling out. You could set your pet on the pressure. Could you? Uh, up left corner. <laughs> Ooh, got a key. I wonder what key that's to. Some kind of chest, maybe. Time to look at my pet real, real quick. I'm now wearing a few more bits and bobs. Uh, they he equips them automatically, uh, so it saves me the bother. Oh, it's dead end. The bridge is out. Skilly. Ooh. Yeah, one thing about setting your pet and aggressive, they're like wanting to kill stuff that's off the edge. <laughs> Min. I need your help. You must be the human from the other Estelan Eth Ethelan Etherians here. As you must be the humans the other Etherians are speak You must be the human the other Asterians were speaking of. I'm glad to have met you. I've been sent on a quest by the Grand Regent Eldrian to recover the scroll of Anum Erech, stored in a vault in the corrupted crypt here. Unfortunately, the Sturmborn have already entered the crypt and ha have been un I have been unable to get past them. Can I ask you to attempt to retrieve the scroll? I will wait here in the path of the honored dead for your return. Should you succeed, I will see what I can do to provide you with some equipment fitting a hero of your stature. Well, oh. you have a new quest. We'll be happy to assist, I think. You a new recruit? Right, here we are, the temple steps, level six to eight. Oh, that's quite high, isn't it? Let's go in the corrupted crypt. Weapon up. It's time for some good old fashioned dungeon crawl. Side effects. <laughs> I 
Some uh, beer. Yep. There's a chest doing here. Nice one. As you can see, it's pretty easy early on in the game, um, but if it's any, anything like the first one, the difficulty will increase. Go along. And uh, if not, we'll crank up the difficulty. I think. It's, it's, it's gonna get harder. Soon. Yeah. It's just, uh, a bit too easy. But we can always change that. <laughs> oh, I've got a mini boss. So much stuff, I'm gonna switch weapons now. Just for a wee bit of a change, cause uh. Ooh, fire armor, cool. Let's put that on. Just for a change. Yeah, it's, it still feels so very much like Diablo. Um, real hack and slash. Dungeon crawling goodness. A little faster, faster paced. Yeah, definitely faster paced. But I think that's partly due to the difficulty being too easy for us, probably at the moment. Yeah. We, like I said, we'll fix that for the next one, perhaps. Should do the job. What do we have here? Fondo the Master. <laughs> Fondo the Master. What's this? Oh, enchantment. So this is where you come with you want a bit of enchantment. Apparently. To Fondo the Master. Not really looking for any enchantments right now, so.
spider. It's always spiders. <laughs> well, it's a steeple, isn't it? Yeah. Steeple died of any hack and spa slash and Can't RPG and MMO spiders. Can't have an RPG without the spiders. No, it's not the same. Right, I think we cleared the place, haven't we? Uh, I don't see... Is there something we've missed? Hang on. Fallen Guardian this way. I totally missed that. <laughs> What's this? There we go. Hey, down we go. I've got unspent skill points apparently. know yes. that you can change between two skills by pressing tap. Oh, I didn't know that. Random fact. Oh. Just press shift and tap. It's been a while. And now I've got a map. Hey, let's get some skills. I think it's time for some skills. Let's see, flame hammer. Your weapon crushes foes, creating force, flaming splinters that seek out energies, uh, enemies within 5 meters. If available, a charge is consumed to generate two additional blasts. Hmm, I think I want a healing bot. Or maybe a shield bash. Hmm. Let's get that, because I want to get the, the gun bot as well. I get the healing bot first. Let me get the gun bot. There's a level lever here. Oh, a mysterious maze. Mysterious maze? Ooh. My veggie is full already. <laughs> Off stuff to your pet, maybe? Yeah, probably a good idea. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Shopping list. <laughs> Ooh, super colonist gloves. Not quite as good though. Let's see some stuff to the pet for now. Like that. Let's give a look back over there. I got a fist of fear. It knows what scares you. Oh, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. There we go. Lighten the load somewhat. Mm. Well, that's not any better. Can I use a sword and shield? I can. I I have a rare pole arm. Oh, really? Yeah. I could use that. The 
Let's see if it's any better. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's better. Um, of course, it's like one hander versus two hander, but yeah. Oh, it requires level eight, so I can't use it just yet, but I'll use it later. Okay, let's move on. Skellingtons to kill. Health is actually going there. You have completed a quest. Ah, the Feld Guardian. That's our first boss. You have completed a quest. Just in case you didn't know. A mini sarcophagi. Coffer guy. I actually got a trap. Yep. I can get a new skill. Level 21 before I can get the gun, but I think I'm gonna get the flame hammer and check it out. Flame hammer. Since we played Torchlight, it's like um, it's so nice to return. It feels so much the same, especially since it's uh, co-op now. Yeah. I heard that uh, Torchlight was uh, single player only. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful that the co-op experience in the game. Right, here's the portal. Portal to the surface. My thanks. I find myself impressed with your ability, human. I must confess, when I sent you on this quest, I feared you might not return. But it stirs my heart to see that my fears were unfounded. While you were gone, I located an item that might be of some use to you. Please take it with my blessing and the thanks of the Asterians. Alright. So we got oh, the formal voluge of bottle wounds. That sounds like my cup of tea. Let's get that. And he can't use that one yet either. <laughs> Anyway, I think we'll call it there, uh, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, it's a lovely hack and slash, and uh, the story just gets better and better as you go along in this type of game. So I'm um, we'll probably put the difficulty up a wee notch because it's a wee bit too easy. So anyway, hope you join us for part two, guys. See you next time.